Okay, so uh, I want to talk about a simple technique for reducing the variance in the sample mean. So what do I mean by that? Uh, remember that uh, when we run the simulation, so let's say that we're running a simulation over time like this, and we have the value of some value, variable such as utilization, and it has some variability in the beginning and then it hopefully settles down to some value. And this is the warm-up period, which we're going to have to ignore. And then this is the steady state. And we're going to get the value uh, of the variable or, or such as utilization. And let's just call that xi for the ith run of the simulation. And so we have a set of values for the value uh, for the xi. And from this, we compute sigma xi by n, which is we call the xn bar, which is the sample mean. Now, we know that the expected value of xn bar is the mean mu, and we know that the variance of xn bar is given by uh, sigma square by n, where mu and sigma square are the distribution of, the, of this x. So xi is drawn from a mu sigma square distribution. Okay, so the question is, is there a way for us to make this value over here smaller. Is there a trick we can use making this smaller? And so there is one little trick that you can use. Let's say for the moment we are going to assume uh, that we have two random variables, x1 and x2, and they're both distributed using the same distribution mu sigma square. They're both distributed the same way, and they're identical in that sense. Then it turns out that the variance of x1 plus x2 by 2, which is sort of the mean of those two things, is given by 1 over 4 variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus twice the covariance of x1 and x2. Okay, and so if we can somehow find something which has a negative covariance, then uh, we can reduce the overall variance because we're going to subtract these uh, the two twice the covariance from this or from this two from the two variances over here. And so, what we want to do then is to find two variables x1 and x2 such that they are distributed the same way, which is what we say over here. And, however, they have negative covariances, neg so the, co uh, the negatively correlated. And now let's remember how we choose the uniform random variable u. So u is distributed uniformly in the range 0, 1, which means 1 minus u, which is another random variable, is also distributed uniformly in the range 0, 1, but u and 1 minus u are negatively correlated. And this is because uh, when u is smaller, for example, 1 minus u is larger and the other way around. So these two values, u and 1, uh, u and one, min, 1 minus u, these two values over here, are satisfy this particular relationship that they're drawn from the same distribution and also they're negatively correlated. And therefore, when you look at the variance of using x1 plus x2 over 2, then this is going to be actually reducing the variance. So let me look, give an example of how one might do this, uh, how might one can use this fact to reduce the variance. So let's say uh, that we're trying to uh, me, uh, compute the utilization of a system where we have arrivals into a queue with a single server, as you've seen before. And what we have over here is that the uh, we want to have the measurements over, let us say, 1,000 arrivals. Right? That's, let's just say that's what we want to have. Then what we can do is this. For the first 500 arrivals, we will generate uniform random variables from 0, 1, and we will keep track of them. You just remember them somewhere, so keep them, store them, keep track of them. And then for the remainder of the 500 arrivals, we can use essentially 
one minus u where the where the values came from the first 500 so if the first value for the first arrival was using a random number where, and u was the value that's a 0 0.1 then that was u1 and then u501 is going to be 0 0.9 and if u2 for example was 0 0.3 then u502 is going to be 0 0.7 etc and if you do this it turns out that the variance in the uh, utilization, the mean utilization computed across the entire thousand values will be lower and this reduces the variance. So these two variables u1, u2, etc. to u500 and then u501 all the way up to u1000, these are called antithetic variables. And uh, generally speaking by using antithetic variables for different parts of a simulation, it is possible to reduce the covariance, uh, to, sorry, it is possible to have a negative covariance and therefore we expect that the overall variance in the metric that we care about will be reduced.